You want to see the ultimate self-watering setup? Watch this video and we'll show you how. Hey folks, welcome back to the Rock and Sea Homestead. My name is Lance. I want to welcome you to our channel. And if you're new to our channel, thank you for coming along our journey here. So we're in the heart of getting ready to plant our garden. And one of the things we wanted to do this year was add four more of these bad boys. So this is a self-watering galvanized tub that we got at Atwoods. And then we do some things to it. So all we have to do is pour water there and it fills up and you don't have to water it like you would normally. You just fill that up whenever it needs water. For us, this one probably needed about every other day. Hopefully the ones we're gonna be built this year are gonna go a little bit longer. So stay tuned and see what we're gonna do a little bit different. So there's only about four different things we really need for this. So this is perforated irrigation tube. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but there is perforations about every other side here. And what that's gonna to allow to do is we're gonna fill, we're gonna stick this into this tube and it's gonna to be touching the bottom of it. And that's gonna fill up with water all along the bottom of this galvanized tub leaving about an inch of airspace. And then what that's going to do, we're going to put all this in here. We're going to fill it with dirt. First, we're going to put some cloth down, then fill it with dirt. And then after that, once we fill it with water, the water will wick up the dirt and then the, and the plants will soak that in. And one of the things that we noticed last year when we pulled out the plants is the roots went much deeper in this bed than it did in this bed. Here, they were more spread out where these went further down, and I think they're going further down to get to that water, and that's really what we're wanting. So this is what we're gonna do. Like I said, you only need about four different things. You need the container, and it could be any kind of container. We just choose these, because they're nice and big, and they're fairly inexpensive, and you can find them about any other big box ag store kind of deal. You need some, what we're using is six inch irrigation, perforated irrigation tubing, and you need a uh, PVC pipe, I don't know if it has to be this wide, but something in there so it will go down all the way to the bottom. And then some cloth and dirt, and you're good to go. All right, so one of the things I didn't talk about is you will need to drill a drainage hole in the metal bin. And what we're looking for is we want to have an inch of kind of headspace of open air that will be between the bottom and the top of the plastic. So we're probably going to I do this about five and a half, maybe five and three quarters. So it gives us plenty of airspace. And we're going to measure that from the bottom of the tub up. So when it drains, once it fills up to that level, it'll drain out. So if it rains really bad, even the rain coming down, it'll fill it up, but it'll drain out if it needs to. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to kind of mark up that five and three quarters and drill it there. So the PVC, we have ours sticking out a little bit taller than that. Uh, really, it could probably go all the way just up to the edge. That doesn't really matter. Just make sure dirt, dirt doesn't fall through here. But one of the things you do need is make sure you cut this out at an angle so it doesn't lay flat up against the bottom and it causes suction. So that will just be right there. And what I'm just gonna do is just cut into this perforated, uh, irrigation pipe and just stick that through there and this stuff cuts really easy with a, just a knife just so it stands like that all right, so the next step is to put the fabric cloth in. So we got this in a big roll because we roll it out for our garden here. 
but it's just kind of like a plastic woven ground cloth. You can get it at your Walmart, you can get it at uh, Amazon. We ordered this from Grow Solutions. Either way, it'll work. And what we'll do is we'll just put this in and then we'll put dirt on top of it. So what we did, filling this up with dirt. So we put the first layer of some rough compost. We put that on the bottom, kind of filled in all the gaps where the pipes didn't reach, but the fabric was still over it. And then we filled it up with our super soil. And if you haven't seen how we make our super soil, the video will be right up here for you guys to check that out. But really at this point, all you have to do is just put some water in here, plant your plants. We're gonna plant later in the week, but let me show you how this thing fills up with water and where the, overfill, the overflow comes out. So we filled this thing up. It took quite a while, a lot longer than we thought it was going to. But one of the things I do like, I like to put the water spout where the drain hole is, just so you can see it when it starts coming out. If you're over on this side of the bed, you really don't see it. Something we learned last year. Um, most of the time we filled it up from this side just because of where it was. But definitely it makes it easier if you're right there. And you know, you think about it, we put about five and a half inches all through this tub. So that's quite a bit of water. I don't know what the, the square, the cubic feet of water that is, but it's quite a, quite a bit. So this thing's gonna be good. We can plant this later this week, we'll be good to go. But guys, thanks for coming back. Hopefully you learned something and maybe you can set this up. Remember, you don't have to do this in this type of tub. It could be any kind of waterproof kind of a, a container of any kind. Like I said, I know from Daniel and, and Leon, they use um, those uh, molasses tubs, but I've also seen those those pretty decorative tubs that you get at like Home Depot or Lowe's. You can use those. So don't, you know, think outside the box. If you live in like an apartment or uh, just have patio space, you can grow vegetables. Like I said, we grew three tomato plants one of these last year and they killed it. I mean, they crushed it. We had so many tomatoes out of them. It was unbelievable. So it can be done and I believe in you guys can do that. But thanks for coming back, watching the video all the way to, to the end. We do really appreciate that. If you haven't caught us on Facebook or Instagram, those links are down below. And from our homestead to yours, have a blessed day, and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye.